Abilities in Fallout 76 are tied to a unique card deck system with a little over 200 cards available with different abilities and buffs. After completing the initial release from the vault, level 2, players gain a point and need to build their special attributes by filling their slots with cards. The seven categories are each presented to the player in the form of perk cards. Players can then build on those specials by adding additional cards, perks, to them. Initially, players receive a perk card pack every two levels up to level 10. This is a random selection of four cards that the player can swap out with their current cards. After level 10, players receive the card packs every five levels. These packs can occasionally include a card that is higher in value than normal, increasing a stat or ability more than it would otherwise. Players have to spend a varying number of points on cards, dependent on the initial value. Cards of the same type can be combined with an additional point cost to create a higher ranked version of that initial card, and the max rank depends on the card. The value of the card is shown in the upper left corner. Players gain a special point on level up until level 50 which they can assign to a special stat of their choosing. After level 50, players are still able to pick a perk card but no longer receive special points. There are also cards that buff a player's team as a whole, most of which fall under charisma. There are few solo player charisma cards, as the majority are designed for team play. Another way players can support their team is by sharing perk cards. Players can only share one perk card, and the rank of the card that can be shared is based on the charisma special stat. For every three points of charisma, one perk card point can be shared. Legendary perks unlock after level 50 and allow the player to equip certain perk cards and rank up their effects using perk coins. Each star on a card represents a value of two perk coins upon being scrapped. From level 25 onward, punch card machines can be utilized for different special loadouts. They allow for easy redistribution of special points for loadouts, and also for changing the currently active loadout.